Hi, I'm Dave the Wine Merchant, here to tell you why my curated portfolio now includes this wine. The Gardener 2018 Pinot Noir from Horse and Plow Winery. In this video, I'll be telling a very brief version of the wine's story through the lens of the couple who brought it to life. Chris Condos and Suzanne Hagens, two industry veterans who have created a number of successful brands prior to launching the Horse and Plow Winery. Now, in my line of work, I get to taste wine in a lot of luxurious tasting rooms, but I must say, I also enjoy tasting in casual barn settings like this one. Even after it's been cleaned up, the setting conveys the agrarian nature at the root of fine wines. And, of course, a tasting barn looks great when lit up for the holidays. And the experience is enhanced by the passionate souls that work inside the tasting room, patiently explaining the importance of Chris and Suzanne's sustainable approach to farming and production. And yeah, it's an LP and turntable kind of place. And like all small businesses over the past two years, they've learned how to pivot to outdoor spaces to keep operating safely during COVID, which allowed them to continue their trademark event schedule, including live music, DJs, live theater, and even the occasional art exhibit and poetry reading. In addition to their award-winning wines, Horse and Plow Winery also produces hard ciders using fruit from some of the area's best organic apple orchards. Now that you have a feel for the people behind Horse and Plow Winery, it will come as no surprise that they use natural winemaking methods, hand harvesting, hand grape sorting, small fermentations using natural yeast with no added nutrients or additives, of course no GMOs, and manual punch downs with no fining or filtering before bottling. The haziness you see in this wine is the natural result, and it provides both a texture and more robust flavors and aromas of rose, and cherry and tea. To buy more of this wine, simply type this bit.ly link into your browser. Just be careful, it's case sensitive. And to see more of our wine stories, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or click on the next video you see in the boxes appearing on your screen right now.